Hello, welcome to another edition of the VOD Weekly News Recap. I am Aisa Tso. Good evening. The Gambia Transport Union has commenced an indefinite sit-down strike effective on Monday by the GTU. President Omar Sisi asking the commercial drivers, commercial transport owners and all garage attendees across the country to sit at their homes until their demands are met. The demand include reduction of cost of fuel, the price of toll fees at the Senegambia Bridge, expensive, mandatory fines on the roads and among others. Following the strike announcement by the union, Ministry of Transport informed the public that it will be working with the Gambia Transport Service company to, to fully deploy its fields of buses across the greater Banjul area to ease the transportation. Some of the commuters who spoke to the Voice are Digital that evening said that frequent strike by drivers caused them difficulties in getting to their workplace and running errands on time. Omar Gomez, a commuter, narrated that only few of the drivers were pleading and most especially the seven passenger vehicles. Anyway, the situation with uh, it was worse. It was difficult. It was difficult because can you imagine modern Jogi go Busumbala? After paying like a uh, motor bunda will be, taxi in the way from Busumbara to Westville here, seventy-five dollars is that's too much instead of twenty-five dollars. So you see that's an extra of uh, fifty dollars. So luckily money will be Westville fee. I saw one of my co-worker, Kokumuma Yogo. Anyway, man I cannot blame the government. in another way around you blame the government, but in another way around you cannot blame the government. Come transport union me nyaka yaka hell, Because okay the uh the last issue be fuel amount la borom fuel ñu ne duñ ko jaay dik price bi du wacha if i am right i think if i am right please if i am right legi ñom ci dé lool mo nekka diga ne fuel bi duñ ko wacce legi borom driver tam ñu tay ñu ne na fuel bu wacha do la fa miti from transport union ñoo ñaaxal hel rek and deñ buga yoka pass bi xamuñ naka la ñoo yoke pass bi motax legi ñu ngi sukkandiku ci na price bu wacha this is the only problem but this situation, I am not blame from motor. You mum vani. Come on, some motor be so called double day. A joke cannon. Dingo double. Brom vani, Lunio am season vani. Naka drive a Lunio am si vani. Brom motor is a dingo. That's the fact. Another commuter, Wuriba, also said that he stood on the highway stranded for a long time without a trace of a vehicle as he was supposed to go and meet her daughter. The Minister of Transport issued a statement warning drivers not to obstruct those who are not part of the strike. On Saturday, the Secretary General and Party Leader of All People's Party, Dr. Bai Biram Jain, announced that he has decided to resign from the APP and join the PDOIS as an ordinary member after realizing that it has the key to unlock the Gambia potential at the PDOIS headquarters in Chosistown. Dr. Jain said that PDOIS is the party that has the country at heart and he decided to join the Social Party to push its agenda to survive the country and that PDOIS is an institute with brilliant brains who has the potential to transform this country and that he joined the party with no aspiration to lead the party but if the party feels he can lead it he will do it without hesitation there is no way we are going to the country can proceed the way it is going i don't have to go into details but the last i would say 57 years with all the governments that have come through None of them has an agenda like DOI's. The question may be, then why didn't you join DOI? Since 1990, when I finished my training, I was back in this country. I had wanted to. Truly, I had wanted to, without any doubt. Because DOI, as I have said, was the only party that I have wanted to be. Since they are guests to combat climate change and floods. The Standard Chartered Bank, in partnership with the Gambia Environmental Alliance, recently embarked on a mangrove planting at the Bone Road Tan Land in Banjul to protect the city's vanishing mangrove forest. The two partners planted 40,000 to 50,000 mangroves and also educated some Banjulians who were in attendance about the importance of the mangroves. Mamudu Inkeba, the president of the GEA, said that the mangrove wetland is a vital flood defense, help protect hundreds of vulnerable people on the River Gambia. We want to restore the Tanbi wetlands to stop flooding into the city. Um, the mangroves are going to serve as a barrier or as, as windbreakers when it comes to heavy storms and, and erosions and also floods to the city. 
But not only that, this place is of great ecological importance. Um, the departments of parks and wildlife are here. They know that they are the custodians of this place. And they know that this place is of great ecological importance, not only to the Gambia, but to the entire world. The head of corporate of Standard Chartered Bank, Mustafa Jones, explained that the loss of mangrove forest also means the loss of food, shelter, branch ground for an array of wildlife from different crab spices, which in turn affects local fishing communities, relent on the marine animals for food and livelihood. Omadel Jones, the director of Standard Chartered Bank, also stated that the consequences for the capital and its surrounding losing around 40 square kilometers of mangroves in the 21st century became clear after disaster flood this year 2022 as it erupted more than 30,000 people. The Interior Minister, Siaka Sanko, recently paid a visit at the Serekunda market following Tuesday's fire outbreak at the market which started a few minutes after 7.30 p.m. which engulfed an entire cosmetic shop owned by one Hadim, a Senegalese national engaged in selling perfume. The controversy call was meant to sympathize with the victims and see the first-hand information of the damage that has been caused by the fire outbreak. In his visit, Minister Songo said that the government to look into what has happened in order to establish facts around the cost of the fire and how to avoid future recurrence. He said that the assessment will further enable the government to establish a level of damage cost and assure that the government will also give its all support within its capacity to the victim of the incident. Not minimize this uh, yeah. Yeah. concern when you talk, up, talk. Up. Yeah. So put me the glow, right? The level of government and the disaster management, yeah, yeah. we will do our best to make sure we get quick assistance. Yeah. Aliu Sisi, an eyewitness, narrated that their efforts to help put off the fire was undermined by the unavailability of water, which led to massive damage caused and the later arrival of the fire service to the place, and that he believed that the inconsistency of the electricity also contributed to the cost of the fire. Il y a The police on Wednesday arrested Kumba Senior, who allegedly killed Momoudou Lamarana Jallo on Tuesday night at the Friendship Hotel. Momoudou Lamarana Jallo is a young man and an IT specialist at the Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The President of the Republic of the Gambia, Adam Abaro, on Thursday, 15 September 2022, addresses the National Assembly on the state of the national in accordance with Section 77 of the 1997 Constitution and Clause 24 of the Standing Order of the National Assembly. The President was expected to give an account of the developments gained and some of the challenges his government faced in the 2021 to 2022 legislative year. The address was also expected to highlight the needs and harmness of insightful lessons learned so far for consolidation and planning and cover all sectors comprising the satellite institution of the various government ministries of the Gambia. ICH and contributing to sustainable development in the Gambia 2022-2024. Funded by UNESCO, the project aims at complementing to safeguard our heritage. We will continue to support this important sector. Gender, social welfare, honorable speaker. To begin with regulation, aspirations of the people, especially the vulnerable population, hence the formulation of the Gender Policy 2023-2032. Currently, the Disability Act 2021 is in force and will inform the formulation of the Disability Policy and Program of Action 2022-2032. To address emerging issues on child protection, the Children's Act 2005 is also under review to give way to the National Children's Policy 2022-2032. And the, the future looks bright. Since the beginning of the 2021-2022 tourism season, 53 flights arrive per week. Meanwhile, the Ministry is exploring various ways to find the sector and is expanding destination activities and products. Sure, subsector in April of this year, 
the National Center for Arts and Culture, embarked on a multi-million dollar project geared to strengthening national capacities for safeguarding intangible cultural heritage. That's all we have for you today until we come your way again. I am Isa Tussaud on the VOD Weekly News Recap. Have a good evening.